Hey guys, it's me, Kat Kerr, and today we're talking about Marabou's art crayons. Now, I've had these for a while, and I've created multiple journal pages with them, but today we're trying something new. I'm going to apply them to untreated wood. So before I get started, I want to let you know that they do come in 25 vivid colors. They're highly pigmented and water-soluble. They're wipe resistant after 24 hours. They're not um, washable, but you can always spray a light fixative for semi-permanence. Now I found these wood feathers at my local craft store and I just applied the color directly onto the feather. I used two colors um, just to add a little bit of dimension and then I, um, these crayons are super creamy so I just took one of those cosmetic sponges and I moved the color around and covered the whole feather in a matter of seconds. Next, I added some sparkle with some glitter glue. Next, I added some Marabou Art Spray in gold, and I just added it to specific areas on the feather. Now I'm going to add some color to a wooden embroidery hoop. I have tons of these, but you can find them in any, um, any art and craft store. And again, I'm just applying the color directly onto the embroidery hoop, and I'm moving it around this time with a water brush. I added two colors to the front um, just to kind of give it a gradient look, and I really love the way it came out. Once it was dry, I went ahead and glued it onto a heavy piece of watercolor paper. Next up, I took some of that turquoise color that I used on the feathers and I applied it to the inside of the hoop, as well as adding some splatters of the cherry red. Once it was all dry, I used a pair of scissors to trim around the hoop and cut off the excess watercolor paper. I glued the three feathers to the inside of the hoop, added these beautiful green sequins, and then added some more text to the center of the feathers, and this piece is done. The only thing that's left to do is add some wire or ribbon and hang it on a wall. To get the complete list of materials used in this tutorial, see the description below. This video is brought to you by MarabouCreativeUSA.com.